Hello everyone, my name is Nilzor and welcome to this ninth Q&A. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them the next time around. Before starting, I wanted to say that content this month is a bit scarce due to the fact that I'm really busy trying to find a job, that and the analysis video I'm doing is taking me more time than I thought it would. Anyway, I have a little something lined up for when Fallout 4 is coming out and I hope you'll like it when you see it. Alright, so first question from iBart on air. When you get bored with Fallout, what types of games do you like to play? Mainly other RPGs or strategy games. Lately, it has been a mix of Dragon Age, Prison Architect, Red Alert and Star Wars Rebellion. Next, from Logic Upside Down. Out of all the Fallout games you've played, which one is your favorite? New Vegas, of course. From Matt Reed. How many hours do you have in all the Fallout games? At least 700 hours. Next from Richard Pearson. Where do you think the super mutants are from? And do you think we will see more creatures made with the FEV? Well, like you said, the super mutants are due to a mutation made by the FEV virus, which was accidentally created by the US Army a long time ago. So maybe we'll see new creatures. Breton Charles has two questions. Do you like Diablo style games and have you tried my favorite one, Path of Exile? Not so much my kind of game, although it is fun when I play with friends. Path of Exile was actually one we tried out and completed the first two chapters a while ago. Do you watch modern quality cartoons like Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, MLP, Avatar, etc? I finished Avatar, Legend of Korra I'm on season 4 and I've just started Bojack Horseman. Diego BV is asking three questions. Are you a communist? If yes, what would Mr. Handy say? My general political stand is leaning on the far left, and I guess I'll have to reprogram Mr. Handy to accept that fact. What happened to Spain? Because we have a good relationship with China and USA, also will you visit Spain? Spain probably was in disarray because of the resource wars and nuked afterward. China seemed to be rather alone on the political scene, always as the USA, since they kept the last oil reserve for themselves. Cyber Knight wonders what I think is more important to history, the Crusades, the Norman conquest of England, or the 100 years war. I will say the Crusades, since it was what had the most impact in terms of politics. That what guy you saw 15 asks, boobs or butts? Dick butt. Acronym Atom has a few questions. I noticed that you're talking about non-canon things in your New Vegas 101 series. Why? The things that happened in Van Buren, Project V13 or Brotherhood of Steel are considered non-canon, so why? I'm actually a bit surprised you're saying that because I thought I've been careful as to not include lore from these games. If you could be more specific, maybe I'll be able to answer. John H. Eden or Dick Richardson? I vote independent. Is there something like a map of all the commonwealths in any Fallout game? I don't think we saw a map in-game, but there is one on the wiki. Do you think Harkness will return in Fallout 4? It could be nice since he was the one who brought up the Institute into Fallout 3 and the general lore. Alan Lane has a list of questions. Do you think the Enclave is based off the Nazis? Definitely in terms of how they both are for the supremacy of one so-called pure race above everyone else and the use of extreme mass murder devices. Do you think the car in Fallout 2 is a cool idea? Sure. Ever played the Borderlands games? A bit in multiplayer, but it was the first one and a long time ago. How do the nuclear-powered cars work in Fallout? Don't ask me, I'm not an engineer. Ever played the Batman Arkham games? Nope, but I've watched people play it. When do you think Fallout 4 will be set? Officially, the only thing we know is that it's not too far long after Fallout 3. As if it is after New Vegas, which as a reminder is sent in 2021, nobody knows. How old are you? On the general dance slope of life. Do you like zombie games? If yes, could you name three of them? Not my favorite genre, the ones I've played were mainly Left 4 Dead and Plants vs Zombies. Ever watch the movie called The Road? If yes, what is your view on it? I did when it was in theater. I remember that I liked the oppressing atmosphere and general desperation feel. What do you think will break down capitalism? K 
capitalism itself. When your ideology is driving you to put people against each other and aim to always consume more and more of finite resources, it can only end badly. What do you think of the console modes for Fallout 4? It's great, I think. Not everybody can afford a PC that will run Fallout 4 and consoles allow for a broader audience to play the game. So if consoles can finally use mods, more power to them. Name 4 things that make Fallout New Vegas better than Fallout 3. Better companions. Besides folks, I don't remember any from 3. Better story. Instead of the white knights in armor versus the Nazi knocked off army, we have a story about a corrupt capitalist republic, a would-be enlightened tech-savvy dictator, a dictatorship of a rebelled ancient Rome, and a possible outcome that lead to an anarchist self-ruling society. Better design, the use of the environment to tell a story was far better, in my opinion, and better dialogues overall. Do you think we'll be seeing the Chinese again in Fallout 4? I don't think so, since it's on the East Coast. What kind of minigames do you want to see in Fallout 4? I don't have an actual idea in mind, so we'll see. Ever played any games that are like Fallout? Post-apocalyptic RPGs, I've watched one of my friends play Wasteland, but that's about it. What do you think of ghouls? Scary, but it's interesting that people that were there before the Great War can help better understand what happened. Do you think it would be cool if a Fallout game was sent to a different country? Definitely. Europe in particular, but I guess I'm biased. Do you think Mr. Handys are better than the Protectrons? More helpful, that's for sure. What do you aim to do in the future? I need to figure out what kind of content I want to produce with Fallout 4. What are your thoughts on the leveling system in Fallout 4? A little bumped out that they basically took out the skill system, but I prefer to see how it plays out in-game before giving my opinion. I'm asking too many questions in these Q&A videos. Well, since I don't want my Q&A videos to be too long, the more questions you ask, the less time I will spend answering each one, so that's up to you. Next from Naval Porcupine. What are your views on LGBTQ plus rights? What are your reasons on those views? We need to strive as a society to treat people as equals. LGBTQ plus rights is what is driving towards that goal by showing how the majority is treating various minorities in unfair discriminatory ways. Now my humanist nature is hoping that one day, whether you are straight, gay, bi, pan, cisgender, transgender or whatever else, will be a non-issue. Do you have a Steam account? If so, can I add you? I do, but it's a private one that I give only to my friends and family. WMM Films is asking two questions. What is your second favorite character from Cotter 2 next to Kreia and why? Atten Rand, the funny smuggler with the interesting past, especially if you play as a female exile. Which non companion character from the Fallout New Vegas main game is your favorite and for what reason? I'd say Mr. House. He's a fascinating character considering his past and despite the best intentions, it's interesting to see how he fails to perceive his limitations and mistakes. Extremist has three questions. Will you compare most greedy CEOs in charge of evil corporations to Darth Nihilus, including the whole trend specific treaty thing? Darth Nihilus is literally the void and the end of life. Greedy CEOs have more in common with dragons, hoarding great wealth all for themselves. Were you an Xbox or PlayStation person? Neither, I've never owned any of these two. Can you do a Swiss, German and a Spanish accent? I will spare your ears and not attempt it. From Dairy Dynamite. Which season do you like the most? Winter. People are usually calmer. Christmas holiday is my favorite. And with a little bit of luck, snow covers the landscape and can look so pretty. Next from Wurzilla. How would you feel about a Fallout game where the protagonist of a previous game either was the protagonist yet again or at the very least makes an appearance? Not sure that it would be a good idea. Each game needs to have a new protagonist in charge and having the previous one comes back will be hard to pull since their actions will be out of the player's control, making them possibly being out of character. Saying this, I'm thinking of like Oak's actions in Inquisition, which some people found was in contradiction with how they played him or her in Dragon Age 2. 
JC Hazlett asks, For Fallout 4, would you like to see a DLC set in another country like Canada or Australia so we can see how they are surviving? If so, which countries would you like to see? Staying near the usual places, we could go to Canada or Mexico. Going to Europe would be interesting too. From Garrick33 Avons-nous plus d'informations sur ce qui a pu arriver à l'Europe ou les autres pays du monde après la Grande Guerre Do we have more information about what happened in Europe or other countries after the Great War? Not really. Things are really vague and there's only correlations to be made out of what we know. Sergeant Nick has two questions. What are you looking forward the most in Fallout 4? The story and the characters, and if Bethesda is getting better at it, or if they keep going with how they do things, like in Skyrim and Fallout 3. What was your favorite thing about the DLC Old World Blues? The way they used the environment to play stories and how they managed to have a fun but sad atmosphere. Skull Queen of Gloom would like to know if I have any interesting Fallout related experiences to tell. Well, the most interesting to me is the fact that I'm able to have a YouTube channel with more than 10,000 subs about a game that was released 5 years ago and a franchise that is almost 2 decades old. I'm still amazed that I managed to have something like this and I thank you all for it. Yann Lozano Jimenez is asking two questions. Will you like a warfare game based on the resource wars in China, Canada and other scenarios mentioned in game? Like a Fallout RTS game? That's definitely something that I'll check out and I'm not the only one, I think. Who do you consider more successful and cool? The original Brotherhood of Steel, the Lions Brotherhood, or the Midwestern one? Most successful, I think, was, and maybe still is, the Midwestern one. It seems that they were able to rule over a large part of the Midwest, which is not an easy thing to do. As to the coolest, I remain with the original one. After all, they are the founding faction that allowed the other ones to exist. Next from Luca Tosic. Will you do something more lively and not like teaching? Not the style that I want to have, so I'll stick to how I do things currently. And finally, Callum Miller has several questions. What kind of new creatures, mutants and factions will you like to see in Fallout 4? Mutated English fishmen that came to Boston to take back the colonies. What would you say has been the most memorable and enjoyable experience for you while playing Crusader Kings 2? Playing the Game of Thrones mod and having the Starks win. If Paradox decides to, what new things would you like to see added and improved in Crusader Kings 3? If I'm not mistaken, right now the timeline is full. After CK2, you start Europa Universalis before switching to Heart of Iron. So Crusader Kings 3 seems unlikely, but maybe in reverse then, like a grand strategy game where you manage the first Roman Empire or when it was a Republic. Who is your favorite philosopher and why? Probably Nietzsche. I like the idea of deconstructing ideas and never to take things at face value. Although you prefer New Vegas over Fallout 3, was there anything you liked about Fallout 3 or did you hate everything about it? Visiting the historical buildings in a post-apocalyptic settings was nice, but I mostly prefer everything in New Vegas. What do you think of Star Wars? I like it very much, I watched it when I was a kid and really liked the universe and got to play with tons of toys and video games about it. Video games like X-Wing or Dark Force. Although it is too manichaean at times, it still remains a great universe to be drawn into. Excited for the new movie? A bit, but not very much. Since Abrams is at the helm, it will at least be entertaining. For the rest, we'll see. Do you have any theories regarding the plot for the new movie? I haven't really tried to guess anything, but from the trailer, it seems the Force was somehow dormant for a while, and the Empire remnants are about to attack the Republic. Ok, so that's it for this Q&A. Leave your questions in the comments for me to answer next time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.